Jeffree Star opens up about last year's Dramageddon, and people are not impressed. Before I get into the story, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Jeffree Star, Tati Westbrook, James Charles, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news. You may remember in 2019, Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star publicly ended their friendship with James Charles over social media. Tati dropped a video titled Bye Sister, exposing issues she had with James over the years. Jeffrey tweeted and deleted that he had receipts of James being a predator. James Charles clapped back with a 41 minute long video full of receipts, claiming Jeffrey was being defamatory and hurtful. You may remember Jeffrey texted James calling him a danger to society. Jeffrey later apologized for judging James based on what people told him in a video titled Never Doing This Again. So, back to the present. On April 28th, Jeffrey Star was interviewed by Keemstar, FaZe Banks, and Colossal Is Crazy on their podcast Mom's Basement. Keemstar asked Jeffrey about the claims he accused James of. Is James Charles a danger to society? Is he a predator? If James is actually a danger, then this is the opportunity where you can say something, you know what I mean? Or is like, maybe you shouldn't have put that tweet out. Like, which one is it? Jeffrey explained why he tweeted such serious allegations at the time, and confirms that he was and still is unsure about the allegations. It's a very complicated situation. It's gonna upset a lot of people, but the truth is that someone, and right now I legally can't say who, told us a few things. And we trusted that person's opinion. And then another person said some things, that was friends with that man, and it really convinced us that he was a predator. It's people that are in our community that are saying things, and I don't know if they're true or not. If you want, we can pause and I can play what I have on my phone, and he can determine if he would have sent the same tweet. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna out a victim of James Charles, because I don't know if it's real. Jeffrey expressed frustration with how people viewed him after the drama. It's so f***ed up because everyone wants to make me a, you ruined James Charles' career. No, Tati did, and uploaded a 40 minute video about him, and she should have never uploaded that, but she did. Jeffrey revealed that James thought the drama was orchestrated. For some reason, James thinks that me and Shane tried to ruin his life and orchestrated the whole thing, like we f***ing care. You know Shane longer than me, Keem. You think we care to drag or ruin someone? For what? We're our own superstars. We're our own lane. We're doing our own thing together, and we've made so much magic. Why would we ever want to bring someone down? We don't give a f you have to remember, everyone unfollowed James. Not just about my tweet. It wasn't, oh, me, Shane, and Tati against this person. Jeffrey also shared that James recently unfollowed one of Jeffrey's close friends because that friend was following Jeffrey and Shane. The friend told Jeffrey that James still believes Jeffrey and Shane tried to ruin his life. Jeffrey revealed how he felt. The fact that he still thinks that a few weeks ago is scary. Tati did that. We didn't. Colossal asked Jeffrey how valid he thinks the allegations people told him about James are. It's a scary subject. It's not someone saying, this is an entire crime. It's just people told us some things, and I don't know, till this day, if they're true. Because they shut up and got quiet when the whole world and CNN cared about James, Tati, Jeffrey. Colossal asked Jeffrey if he could share what the allegations were. Jeffrey refused and explained why. No, I don't. I just don't feel comf- I can't and everyone thinks this is tea and views and money. And they really use this stuff and it's really gross. And I think James has dealt with enough mental abuse. Keem asked about Jeffrey and Shane's relationship with Tati after the drama. Jeffrey said, We are currently not friends with Tati. Are we enemies? No, but we are not friends anymore. Keem and Jeffrey wrapped up the podcast by giving some final opinions. Keem highlighted that there is still no proof against James. At the end of the day, like, PewDiePie was the first one to come out and be like, Hey man, you know there's no proof that James is doing this. And then I came out on Drama Alert and I was like, yeah, we gotta stop the cancelling of James Charles because there's really no proof. And there is, still to this day, no proof in the public that he is an actual predator. Jeffrey gave a public message to James. Look, if James Charles is ever listening, call me or sit down with me. I will show you what was shown to me and I will tell you a year later exactly what happened behind the scenes. Many people were not happy about the podcast. This is one of many reasons why I don't like him. He just involves himself in drama when he wasn't in it, and then spouts a load of BS without knowing if what he said was true or false. Can't believe he's still trying to put all the blame on Tati and James solely, as if he didn't add dozens of liters of oil on the fire? I'm sure all this drama from last year is really triggering for James. He finally put all this stuff behind him, and now it is all front and center all over again. If he has proof that James is a predator on his phone, he should have taken it to the police. 
Tati and James have not commented on the podcast. Overall, it seems Keem, Colossal, and Banks were just trying to ask the big questions many people may still be wondering after Dramageddon 2.0. After all, Jeffrey made some very serious claims and now deleted tweets. While Tati did start the drama and made predatory claims as well, Jeffrey still added fuel to the fire without fully knowing if his receipts were true. And this severely impacted James's mental health. In a Campfire Kiki episode hosted by Joey Graceffa, James revealed he had second thoughts about living during the drama. I'm so glad that you have that friend group because Me too. especially during your last like whole scandal thing, if you didn't have that, like that would have been so difficult. If I didn't have that, I'd be dead right now. Like I, I say that like not even like being dramatic. I don't think I would have made it through everything that went on like without them being with me and making sure that I was okay and like waking up in the middle of the night to check on me like every 10 minutes to make sure I didn't like literally do something yeah. dangerous. So you can see, it's important to think about how your words can impact others, especially when you have such a large influence like Tati and Jeffrey. What did you think about Jeffrey's response to the drama a year later? Let me know in the comments below.